Excalibur Almaz Limited is an Isle of Man company based in the British Isles. Our purpose is to do human spaceflight for profit. You might say that we're a private space program. Now, we have an allied company, Excalibur Almaz USA Inc., that does all of our work in the United States, including responding to requests for information from NASA about carrying crew and cargo to the International Space Station. Why the British Isles were Excalibur Almaz incorporated on the Isle of Man because the Isle of Man's laws and their government uh, are very positive toward commercial space activities. There's no taxes on the Isle of Man for space activities. And there's a regulatory environment that allows us to get the licenses we need to fly people to space while still being safe. The Isle of Man is a self-governing uh, uh, jurisdiction within the British Isles. It's called a crown dependency. The Queen of England's the head of state, but they have their own legislature. It's quite a wonderful place to do business. Are you going to be in the suborbital game, or are you looking further out in terms of timeline? What is the focus of the company? Excalibur Almaz is a private space company. One of our first activities is to fly humans to space for profit. These space explorers uh, are in the tradition of the private explorers that explored the oceans and the continents of the world over the last few centuries, only now they're going into this new continent called space. We use a variety of proven technologies, including a capsule system, a three-person capsule system that was developed by the Soviet Union for military purposes. Now, we have purchased four of these capsules and two Salyut-class space stations. They're currently uh, in Russia. Uh, a couple of the capsules are in England. And we're going to bring them to the United States to work on them and possibly to launch them. The purpose of the company is to use proven technology to do new things. And so by the using this Russian, and American, and European technology together, we can achieve quite a cost savings over the pure government model. Now the Heinlein Prize is a half a million dollars and we can give it up to once a year. It's for accomplishments in commercial space activity. And it's given to individuals to recognize those accomplishments. Uh, we also conduct prizes in Europe and Asia and in America. Uh, to encourage young people to study science and math and to be interested in space commercial activities. And we popularize, if you wish, some of the ideas of Mr. Heinlein. He was a leading American science fiction writer, but he wrote about private enterprise going into space and earning wealth for the betterment of all humanity. And that's what we're trying to do.